What's going on everybody? This is Al from Instant Blade 06 Revival and today I want to go into part two of my version of the run and shoot offense or my idea of the run and shoot offense. In the first video I kind of gave you a macro view, a more holistic view of what the offense is all about. I didn't go into any great detail. That's what this video is for. I wanted to give you the base plays of the run and shoot and how you can apply them to certain formations within NCAA football 06. Now, with my air raid offense, it's very similar to the air raid offense in theory as opposed, you know, in terms of the formations and going four wide and all that good stuff. But in that offense, I don't use hardly any Y stick or Y cross or shallow or four verts. That's because hardly any of those concepts are in NCAA 06. So I had to kind of put my own spin on the offense, at least made it look like uh, the original air raid offense. The good thing with the run and shoot is the five or six base concepts, the real life base concepts of the run and shoot are in this game. So you can get very close to the actual concepts that the run and shoot gurus love to use. And that's what I'm going to show you today. The beauty of the run and shoot offense is it's very simple in terms of formations and of concepts. Again, my out rate offense, if you've bought the book, I go through about 12 base concepts plus an extra 15 or so that you can tack on once you feel comfortable with the base 12. With a run and shoot, there's like six. And you basically only use two formations, depending on which style of uh, run and shoot you want to go with. So I think the run and shoot's actually easier than the out rate offense. And technically, any passing offense there is out there. So let's go over the basic pass plays. The first one I want to go over with, and we'll call them by the actual terms that the run and shoot guys like to use. The first one I want to go with is choice. Now, all choice is, well, first, let me say this. We all know the run and shoot offense is based off option routes, where you got one guy has four or five different options depending on the coverage. Of course, we don't have this in NCAA 06, so we have to uh, work around this a little bit. That being said, we'll go with choice as our first concept that we'll look at. I will put in the description, hopefully, a, a link to a website that's got the, like, the most simplistic way of looking at the run and shoot. And when it comes to choice, the easiest way to look at it is on the right side, your right uh, receiver. Like in this case, we'll look at circle. Has a go route. And the real-life choice concept, triangle, the slot right beside circle, is your option guy. He'll do a vertical if it's cover three, or he'll do a, uh, a post if it's cover two, yada, yada, yada. Well, in this case, we don't have that. So what we'll do in SW06 is we'll just treat that as a post. So anytime you see a post corner or a post go combo, that's basically a choice concept. Also with choice is your circle or your, your square receiver also has a bunch of options. Of course, we don't have that. Thankfully, there's a lot of post-go concepts in this game that has a backside square receiver doing a go, an out, an in, a comeback, what have you. So for this video, we'll go through the shotgun spread because it has all the base concepts built into it. So with deep attack, this is choice to me. It's got a go and it's got a post beside it. That is choice. Go post, go post. On the left side, you got other cool things. You got to go with an with an outside uh, release with L1. In order to, uh, we'll just go through the play real quick. We'll just go with random right. here, random nickel. We'll put it on the right hash. The defense is going zone. If they go cover two, your beater is your post. Simple enough. If they go cover three. Anything beyond cover two zone, just dump it off to L1. Again, zone, I like to motion him over. 
Looks like they're going cover two, so maybe I can dump it off. That's just a bad throw. It was cover two, so I could throw it to my zone beater. Okay, now they're going man. You got plenty of options. If it's cover zero, you got three cover zero beaters. Your two goes and your post. If anything beyond that, you can give it to L1 or what have you. So we'll just run the play. They're going with cover one, so I can just dump it off to my out. Pick up 10 yards. The big thing here is choice is, you got to remember, it's go post. That combo gives you the choice concept. Again, we're going man. To go with cover two, I can throw it really hard to my post. That's just really good defense. Now they're going zone. I can motion him over. Again, don't worry too much about the motion right here. What we're going to focus on is just what choice looks like. So again, go, post, that is choice. That's out of spread. I can show you out of flex bone slot, our choice play is vertical. Again, look on the left side. We got a go and a post with L1. On the back side, we have circle who does a comeback. To me, that looks like a choice. If you go out of... Uh, Spread doesn't have it all that well, I don't think. I mean, PA dive, that's a switch. We'll get to that later. Uh, oh, I don't have it built in. Yeah, ace slot, uh, deep outs. I know square is not a complete go, but that's a very deep out. It takes him a while to make the out, but look right beside him. It's a post. To me, that would be a choice. Again, go post. That's your choice. The next concept I want to show you is slide. Slide is essentially your curl flats. The perfect example of this is out of shotgun spread. Wide receiver curls. When you're thinking slide, you're thinking curls. You're thinking curl flats, but maybe it's something, a backside, whatever on the other side. A lot of times with uh, slide, you'll have a post that goes with it. So if you notice on the right here with wide receiver curls, you got a, a, a hitch route, you got your flat with your halfback, and you got a post. Don't worry too much about the post. Again, when you think in curl flats, just think slide. That's just what it is. Now, normally the, uh, the option route in the real run and shoot is your slot receiver, which is triangle. He'll go do a go or an in or a post. We don't have that, so don't worry about it. Again, curl flat is slide. And curl flat, it's everywhere. It's in flex bone slot. You'll see right here, it's curl flats. It's doubles on both ends. And what you could do, like, let's say we'll pick curl flats at a flex slot. We'll call it slide. Say, okay, they're in man. We know we'll have a curl flat on the left. What we can do is we can hot route circle to a go just in case both safeties come up. Or we can hot route them to an in or an out. Just, or we can do a slant. Again, all that matters is you see the curl flat at least somewhere in the play that is slide. And curl, like I said, curl flats is literally in every formation there is in the game, I think. Uh, it's right here, wing back flats out of flex bone normal. They got a couple of curl flats here, I think. Where is it at? Yeah, curl read. That's a really good slide uh, concept. You got your curl flat with a really deep post. Great against cover two zone, co cover two man. And that could be your cover zero beater, yada, yada, yada. Again, curl flat equals slide. The next I want to show you is Go. Go is similar to Choice in that you will see a lot of uh, Go post combo. But the thing with Go is your two outside receivers are most often always going on Go routes. It's what your slot receivers do is what makes it a little different from Choice. So whenever you see two outside Goes, just think Go. A good example of this is my favorite go concept is actually slot seams. We actually have three goes. Normally what I like to do with this, we'll go over on the right side. I see a man and I see both safeties coming up. Looks like they're double teaming my both of my slots. 
I can motion triangle over, and that leaves uh, my circle, my go on the far right, wide open, or at least a one on one situation where I could dump it off to him. Again, when it comes to go, just think as long as there are two go routes somewhere within the play, you'll have the go concept. Now, here it looks like they're running zone. What I like to do with out of spread is I can motion square over and he should be open underneath, pick up a few yards. Again, they're going zone. I can do that again. Get my six man protection. I can just motion him over there. Now, when it comes to go routes against zone, it's very risky. Uh, you can make it work sometimes, but it's, like I said, it's just very risky. This is really meant to be more of a man beater than anything. That's why we have an underneath route with square on a dig to defeat man or zone if they're not going cover zero. Again, when you think of go, think of at least two go routes somewhere in the play. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's in flex bone normal here. Seam attack. To me, that's go. You got an underneath post and an underneath uh, out route by your uh, halfback. I think uh, a slot has it. Uh, where's it at? I think it's called streamer seamers. We got three goes with an underneath post. We can select this play, and they're going zone. I could motion. Uh, or hot route, my tight end to an out route. Maybe to defeat zone. He stopped there for whatever reason. Now they're going man, maybe I can have him go on a dig just in case, but both safeties are coming up. I can go over the top to one of my goes. Again, there's at least two go routes in the play, therefore we'll call it go. The next concept, those are your first three. Those are the big three that distinguish the run and shoot from everything else. Choice, go and slide choice go and slide the next three basic uh, concepts uh, round out the rest of the run and shoot the first one we'll look at is switch I've covered this before all switch is is let me find it here let me find it uh, corner strike is a decent example right here switch all it is is a wheel route with a post look at slot wheels L1 is going on a wheel. Square is going on a post. That's all switch is. We have this in uh, flex bone slot. Again, here it is. Wide receiver middle. Look at the left. L1 and square. We got a wheel post combo. That is switch. Doesn't matter what the other receivers are doing. As long as you see that switch combo, think switch. Switch is everywhere in this game. It's in a slot. Uh, where is it at? I hope I'm not telling you wrong. Uh, yes, flanker middle. Switch with a dig. Again, when you see the wheel post combo, think switch. That's the fourth concept. The fifth concept is smash. Smash, everybody and their brother uses it. I don't care what level of football you play. High school football, or high school, college, NFL. Everybody has some type of smash concept. Now, most people think of smash, they think of... And they kind of restrict themselves by doing this. Let me find it here. Uh, look at halfback go. Look at square and L1. A lot of people, when they think smash, they think a hitch with a flag route over the top. In the end, all a smash is is a high-low read. A high beater with a low beater. To me, corner strike here on the left. Look at triangle and circle. That's a high-low read. To me, that is also smash. This, in shotgun spread, my smash concept would be corner strike. I could use uh, halfback go as my smash if I wanted to. Out of a spread, smash is everywhere. You got corners. Uh, curl flash is essentially a high-low, but like we said, we like to call that slide. Uh, safety draw. You got double smashes. They're everywhere. I think it's also, if I can press the button correctly, uh, a slot. Let me see. I think we, yeah, quick slants. We got a smash concept on the left with some slants on the right. Again, don't worry so much about what other receivers are doing. As long as you see a smash concept somewhere, we'll call that play smash. 
the sixth and final uh, concept I want to go over is I would call them verticals, but technically Go already has that. Uh, let me check one more thing. I think only five of them is actually worth looking at. We got Go. Uh, play actions really used in uh, Run and Shoot. Deep Attack, that's our choice. Uh, screens. They use screens some, but not a whole lot. So, for simplicity's sake, we'll just stick with the five biggest concepts. Choice, go, slide, switch, and smash. If you shuffle through those five concepts over and over and over again, you could take down any defense. If you got the talent to do it, it helps. Now, last thing I want to show you is the best formations I found that actually has all the main concepts built into that formation. The run and shoot guys, they're not big on formations. They stick to one or two at the most. I'm the same way. I don't want to go through nine different formations just to get my point across with a run and shoot. Leave that to the NFL guys. New York Giants, they, their entire passing attack is really run and shoot based, but they do it out of a ton of formations. You can do that. There's no rule against it. But for college, I like to keep it as a pure run and shoot and stick to one or two concepts or one or two formations. The first one we'll start off with the shotgun spread. It's got the big five in there. We got wide receiver curls. What is that? That is slide. Slot seams. What does that look like? That's go. We got two go routes. Corner strike. This is actually a both smash and switch. We got smash on the right. We got switch on the left. Deep attack. We got go post. Go post, go post. What is that? That is choice. Perfect. That's actually the best choice play probably in the game outside of Flex bone slot, which I'll get to here in a little bit. Uh, halfback go, that's smash. Slot wheels, we actually technically got two uh, switch combos on, on either side. Those are the big five. They're all in there. You can run your entire run and shoot offense at a shotgun spread. Shotgun trips, not so much. I've tried and tried to find everything in here. Corners, we got smash, and this is a good practice for you all just by looking at the play art and seeing what it, what it is. Corners, we got smash on the right. Uh, angle, that is technically a choice concept. We got a go and a post with some outs on both sides. PA inside, even though it's play action, it's still switch. We see that on the right. Uh, all curls, we got a curl flat on the right. That is slide. Uh, clear out. We got to go post. That is choice. Uh, halfback out. We got to go post. That is choice. Uh, what am I missing out of the five? That I, uh, I think the only thing that's not really in here is go. Halfback screen, you got three go routes. That's actually a really good screenplay because you got a backside uh, uh, crossing route. But as far as two just simple deep routes, you're, there's not a whole lot there. Uh, clear out could be your go since you got two goes there. Clear out, it, that could be your choice. That could be your go. Because remember, choice and go are very similar to each other. So you can treat clear out as your go. And you can treat halfback out as your choice. So technically, all five concepts are in shotgun trips. Now let's go to uh, ace normal. I know that's my power shoot. Uh, technically, you can't run the true run and shoot out of the ace normal. Sorry, guys. Stick to my parachute offense for that, and you'll be fine there. Ace slot. All of the concepts are here. Flank or middle. What do we see on the left? Switch. Curl flats. What do we see? It is slide on both sides. We got deep outs. To me, that is technically a choice because those deep outs are very deep, and they distract the safeties, which help out L1, your post, a whole lot. Uh, technically, slot seam, we got smash on the right. We got that corner route by circle with our halfback going to the flat. We got, uh, let's keep going here, quick slants, smash. Then we got seamers, go. They're all there. All the big five concepts are there. Ace wide trips, this is your K-gun. This is what the Buffalo Bills ran out a lot of. 
I don't think all five are in here. We can check real quick just by looking. Curl flats. That is slide. Uh, mm, flanker posts. Look at it. It's perfect. It's choice. Uh, then we got slot wheel. It's almost like a switch, but I don't think it's good enough. Uh, and that's it. I probably would stay away from ace wide trips if you want to stick to pure run and shoot. Ace spread. Unfortunately, and I, I would love to run run and shoot out of this formation, but there's not a lot of the main concepts in here. We can check it real quick. Uh, we got curl flats. That's our slide. PA dive. That's our switch. Uh, another. Uh, this is smash. Safety draw. Uh, cross. That could technically be your go since you got two go routes. Uh, half back clear out. No triangle. Even though that's a great play. That's another smash technically. But it didn't have choice in here. That's what I didn't like. It didn't have a go-post combo. Unless you want to treat PA dive as a as a choice combo with the wheel and the and the post. That's technically a go-post, but it's much slower developing play. I'd rather treat it as a switch. Uh, but you can still technically do it out of PA dive there, or out of uh, a spread. There's just not a whole lot of vertical stuff in this formation. Great formation, but maybe not the best for pure run and shoot. You maybe need to tag it with, a la, ace four wide receiver trips. Ace four wide receiver trips, I think it has everything. All hook, it doesn't, well, technically it has uh, a curl flat here. It's just a delayed with your halfback. But here's your true slide, curl read. We got switch with PA strike. Uh, halfback out, that's your choice. Go could be your halfback screen because you got a crosser. That's a good man beater screen if you want to throw that in there. So when you combine ace spread and ace four wide receiver trips, you got all of the base choice or all of the base run and shoot concepts. So if you want to stick it to the old school, you can run use ace spread and ace four wide receiver trips. Run the pure run and shoot and go nuts with it. Flex bone. Here's the true old school, the original run and shoot offense. You can run everything out of both flex bone normal, combined with flex bone slot. We'll stay. We'll start with flex bone slot because this formation is crazy good. Look at that wide receiver middle. What do we have? We got a switch, curl flats. That's our slide. We got uh, where are they at here? Vertical. Insane, crazy, great choice play. Look at that. We got smash. It's literally called smash in the game on the left. Wide receiver screen. Look, we've got a backside screen with what? Choice on the left. I mean, it's got all, all five base plays are in there. Then you go to flexible normal. This formation doesn't have everything, but it's got some of them. Seam attack. That looks like go to me. Technically, it's both go and choice since we have a post go on the right. We also have, uh, like I said, there's not a whole lot in this one. Curl, wing back flats after slide. Uh, and that's really it out of flex bone normal. But you could run the entire run and shoot offense out of flex bone slot, and you could complement it with flex bone normal if you wanted to. And going back to shotgun spread, you could bind that with trips. You could run the June Jones offense out of both of those, and you're good to go. So when it comes to running the pure run and shoot offense, you pretty much got three choices of how you want to run it. Do you want to run the June Jones variety at a shotgun using both spread and trips? Do you want to run? Um, you could do everything out of a slot. Maybe you just really want to tie it in in your run and shoot offense. If you really want to tie it in in there, you can use a slot or you can just do the out of shotgun trips. You can do the packages where you throw the tight end in there. If you want to get with the Houston back in the early 90s version of the run and shoot, you can run ace spread and ace four wide receiver trips, run your five main concepts. Or if you want to get to the original run and shoot, combine flex bone slot and flex bone normal, all five concepts are in there. Throw in a little triple option, that gives you the triple shoot. And that's a whole other video in and of itself. Huh, okay, now I can breathe. To finalize it all, to sum it up, I've given you three different versions of the run and shoot. I mean, it's still the same 
uh, offense. It's just kind of which one you want to run it out of. I've given you the five basic concepts. I didn't even talk about the running game. The running game is up to however you want to use it. You can keep it as simple as you want and just run the same run play whenever the numbers are there or you get more fancy with it, a la flex bone with some triple, what have you. But that's really it. I mean, the run and shoot offense is like six to seven plays total. You got your five base, choice, go, slide, switch, and smash. Complement it with whatever run game you want to throw in there with it, a la one or two run pass, run plays. That's seven plays total. That's it. It's a su- stupid, simple offense. Now, the key to making it work is to not get bored with it. That's the only fear I have when I start my new dynasty whenever that day comes is I don't want to – I mean, I love running the run and shoot. Don't get me wrong. But I don't want you guys to get bored watching me run the same six, seven concepts over and over again. To me, that's not boring. That's just being efficient uh, and out of the same two formations. If I'm going to run a true run and shoot offense, it'll be two out of these six formations that I've shown you. So as long as you don't get bored repping the same six, seven plays over and over and over again, you'll have a blast with a run and shoot. Now, I know I didn't go into great detail on how to run the plays. Maybe that's for videos down the road. But at least this video will kind of show you the base of the offense. This is more of the micro view as opposed to the macro view that happened in the first video. So hopefully this was a little bit more helpful. Um, I went back and looked at the previous video, and I felt like I didn't do it justice when it came to talking about the actual concepts. I mean, I knew the purpose of that video wasn't really to break those down, but I was almost putting a label on the run and shoot saying, it's just a bunch of vertical stuff. There's more to it than that. There's actual design to those plays, and that's what I want to show you in this video. The purpose behind choice and slide and go and switch and smash. Uh, and I didn't even really go into the details of why you use them. Uh, and maybe, like I said, that's for another video. But at least this video will kind of give you the idea of, hey, this offense is basically five base pass plays with whatever run game you want to throw with it. All right, guys. Take this video. Chew it up. Eat it up. Devour it study it. If you have questions, let me know. And hopefully in the future, I could break down the offense even more. I want to write a book on it around the entire offense and out of the various formations and how to put a, a game plan together. Maybe down the road, I can do that. But for now, this is what we have. And hopefully when the new dynasty hits, I can uh, really uh, dig with the run and shoot. I don't know which version I'll use. But at least you'll get to see a lot of videos of me running the run and shoot in live action. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.